Hello, and welcome to Toasty Business. After the multiple moon missions of Apollo that first put Neil Armstrong on the lunar surface in 1969, NASA has not landed any other person on the moon since. However, the new planned moon mission, named Artemis Lunar Exploration Program, will not only see that NASA lands the next man, but also the first woman on the moon in 2024. So, in this video, I'm going to be discussing NASA's latest updates, including the outline plans for Artemis. Before we go on, please take a moment to click on the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with similar news as we bring them daily. You can go ahead and share this video with your friends and click on the like button if you find this video to be helpful. Now, let's begin. Last year, NASA published an outline for its Artemis program, which is intended to send the next man and the first woman to the surface of the moon in 2024. The Artemis program will allow NASA the opportunity to demonstrate new technologies, business models, and capabilities that will mostly be essential for future Mars explorations. Since the 1972 Lunar Apollo mission, NASA has not sent any human to the moon. This program, funded by the government of the United States, specifically seeks to land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface at the South Pole region. While NASA spearheads this program, the US commercial spaceflight companies contracted by NASA and other international partners cannot be left out. With NASA leading the program, other international partnerships will go on to play major roles in advancing Project Artemis. As the major step forward, as the major step towards the goal of creating sustainable presence on the surface of the moon. Also, the project will lay the foundation for other private companies to build on a lunar economy and foster future exploration of Mars. Artemis, named after the Greek goddess of the moon and Apollo's twin sister, makes so much sense on the surface that this program will attempt to take the first woman to the moon. Divided into three parts, the first part of the program is called Artemis 1, which will most likely be launched later this year according to research. The second Artemis, simply known as Artemis 2, will then be the first crewed flight test to take place in 2023, while the last, Artemis 3, will land astronauts on the moon's south pole in 2024. As early as 1961, the United States began trying to send people into space. However, this feat was not achieved until eight years later when Apollo 11 mission took Neil Armstrong as the first human to ever step foot on the moon in 1969. Famously, he said the words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As he motioned to step foot on the moon. NASA will build sustainable elements on and around the moon that will allow robots and astronauts to explore more and conduct more science than ever before. The following elements are planned for future missions. The exploration ground system, which refers to the necessary structures set in place at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to support the launch. The space launch system is the space shuttle for lunar missions which is also dubbed as the most powerful rocket in the world. The Orion spacecraft will carry crew to lunar orbit, where they will transfer to a human landing system or the gateway. The crew will use the spacecraft to return safely home to Earth, which has been built to withstand the extreme heat experienced upon re-entry into the atmosphere. The gateway, which is an outpost around the moon to support human and scientific exploration in deep space. Built with commercial and international partners, the Gateway is critical to sustainable lunar exploration and will serve as a model for future missions to Mars. The Lunar Lander NASA is partnering with American companies to land astronauts on the lunar surface. These systems will dock with Orion or the Gateway in lunar orbit and take crews safely to the lunar surface and back to lunar orbit. Artemis Spacesuits In the harsh environments of space, astronauts need new spacesuits to explore more of the surface than ever before. NASA's Advanced Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or XEMU, will support lunar surface expeditions and during launch and re-entry. Astronauts will get to wear the Orion Crew Survival System suit. With the new rocket called the SLS, NASA aims to assist the Orion spacecraft by getting it millions of miles away from the Earth and use it in lunar orbit. For each of its missions, the SLS will surely have multiple configurations. The first, known as Block 1, is designed for uncrewed missions beyond the Moon. The second, known as Block 1B vehicle, which will be for manned cargo missions. The next in line is Block 2, which is expected to be NASA's workhorse. This rocket will shoot crew and cargo to Mars, the Moon, and other deep space missions to be carried out. The first integrative flight of Orion and the SLS will be made possible by the Artemis 1 launch, and it will be the first test flight of the world's most powerful rocket. The SLS Block 1, standing at some 98 meters and weighing about 2,600 metric tons, will produce about 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Furthermore, while later upgrades such as the Block 2 might go ahead to carry 45 metric tons of cargo, equivalent of 18 large SUVs, 
the SLS Block 1 will be able to conveniently carry more than 26 tons of cargo into orbit. The modern equivalent of the Saturn B, the SLS, will stand 322 feet tall in its Block 1 configuration. Immediately, the astronauts dock at the Gateway. They will then continue from there to live and work around the Moon. You might be wondering what the Gateway is, and to put it simply, it is a small spaceship in orbit around the Moon. The Gateway is located some 400,000 meters away from the Earth, and it will serve majorly for the 2024 visit. As a matter of fact, the Gateway is such a station that docks the Orion spacecraft, giving the astronauts a safe place to conduct their research, experiments, and also get accustomed to space life. Members of the crew will visit the Gateway for three months on annual visit. While the size of the Gateway cannot be compared to the size of the International Space Station, its interior space will give the comfort size of a small studio apartment. To build, NASA will send large portions of the spaceship for automatic assembly on about six rockets, which cannot be compared to the 34 launches that built the ISS. As more work is being done to make the dream of 2024 possible, we must note however that in order to even visit the Moon's surface, the astronauts will go along with a reusable lunar landing system for exploration. And this is where the commercial sectors come in. NASA hopes the commercial sector will provide the necessary systems including a lunar surface spacesuit. In light of this, the system will need to include other elements that will aid ascent, descent, refueling and transfer. If it brings any good feeling, the astronauts going for the Artemis program will wear newly designed spacesuits called Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or XMU. These spacesuits will have advanced mobility and communications and interchangeable parts, which can easily be configured for spacewalks in microgravity or on a planetary surface. The astronauts that will journey to the lunar surface have not yet been decided, but in 2019, Mr. Bridenstine of NASA mentioned that the first woman astronaut to walk on the moon in 2024 would be someone who is experienced, proven, and somebody who has been on the International Space Station already. The woman could even be someone already in the astronaut corps. Since the journey will still take a couple of years, it remains unclear whether any of the fresh forthcoming astronauts can fulfill this criteria in time to fly, although he already stated that the team to fly might be picked at least two years prior to the landing. By sending astronauts back to the moon, the White House hopes to renew American leadership in the space sector. Also, as part of the Artemis mission plan, there are plans to extract valuable deposits of water ice from the lunar south pole, which could be used to make rocket fuel on the moon. Much more at a lower cost than carrying it from Earth, and this might serve as the foundation for a lunar economy. The Phase 1, known as Artemis 1, will include the uncrewed test flights around the Moon in the autumn of 2021. Artemis 1, expected to launch this year, will take three weeks before landing on the Moon. The Artemis 1 space launch will last for about a month to effectively test out all the critical systems for travel. Artemis 2, the second phase of the program, will launch in 2022, orbiting around the Moon before returning to Earth. Artemis 3 will mark the final visit to the Moon, when NASA hopes to once again land on the Moon, after about 50 years since their last visit. The Artemis 3 is the final phase that will go ahead to deliver astronauts to the Moon's South Pole, for the very first time ever. Apart from the United States, the European Space Agency, Japan, China and India have all sent missions to explore the Moon. In fact, China landed two rovers on the lunar surface, which included the first ever landing on the Moon's far side in 2019 and the Indian Space Research Organization recently announced India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, which will be made of a lander and a rover. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen and check out the juicy details coached in them. See you there!